Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to give everyone a little tour of the shop today. Uh, we got Amanda and the dogs here and everything's a little cleaned up, so I figured it'd be a good time to give the tour. All right. Welcome to our shop. We are outside the Thorn Speedway parking lot. We do all of our testing. And let's go check it out. All right, shop puppies are here, awaiting. So obviously we got a lot of space here. It's 12,000 square feet, almost 19 feet ceiling. And lots of storage. The biggest thing, of course, for us was to get as much storage as possible. So we installed these four post bend pack lifts, which have been great. Each one lifts two cars and they go up plenty tall. They actually go up one notch taller than that, but it's plenty high as is. Over here we've got some pallet racking where we put some other random stuff. Of course everything's down right now because we want everything because the weather's nice. We'll do some videos on more of Steve's collection. We've got a Miata hiding back here. Try, try to keep it out of sight. This is Ryan's Miata. I don't know what it's for. Power washer, ethanol, more ethanol. Steve's new boat, or new to him, Riva. Haven't been out in it yet, I'm sure it's fun. Of course we got the uh, ginormous Honda banner that we found at an old Indy race. Charlie, what are you doing? This one's Charlie. He's the big dumb one. And over there's Piper. Piper. She's Very dead. lazy. Yeah, she <laughs> died apparently. Oh, there she is. Piper is the uh, smart, good dog, but not the good-looking dog. You're a good girl. Yeah, you're good. This is the good-looking one, but he's very stupid. <laughs> All right, rest of shop. So let's see, we've got these two two-post lifts. We can service a couple cars. And we've got just a big open flat bay. So we do like fabrication bits. We figure we could do cages or sometime when uh, Darian's here, he'll do detail work there. We got this beat up old alignment rack that we found and then repainted so it looks, it looks the part. Everything pretty much works on it these days. Got Steve's car up here, in need of a little work. Seems to be pretty straight though. The alignment rack computer needs to be mounted on that. It needs to be mounted on the mezzanine. But we haven't gotten that far yet, so it just sits there. We got our lights recently installed. All the tire stuff in here. These were, I was fortunate enough to uh, be able to pick up new. And they've been working great. Doesn't matter what I put on here, I can pretty much change it including these big fugly old Bentley wheels that Steve wants a table made out of or something, I don't know. Truck tires, little Miata tires, all kinds of tires. Lots in storage. This area when it's not filled with tires and old trophies is where I was thinking of like building diffs and transmissions. More storage. I'm hoping at some point that this is all kind of finished out and covered, but it's not really gotten there yet. It's race season, so we gotta work on the cars. Car parts. Found this shelving that fits really nice in these pallet rack openings. Trailer stuff. Nuts and bolts. All the commodities, oil and stuff. Lots of brake clean. Of course we've got this big ass fan, which works great. Pretty much keeps the little cir keeps a little circulation in the whole shop going pretty well. And then behind this wall, upstairs for the mezzanine. We haven't even built those yet. We're getting there. Is the fab shop. So we've got a little bit of everything here.
vertical bandsaw, a couple horizontal bandsaws, some sanding bits. This is probably my favorite tool in the shop. That is like a solid three quarter inch iron plate at the bottom that holds this little wire wheel. And it is silent, super high torque. It's definitely the best tool we have. I don't know who made it. I found it for like 50 bucks. I think that's the motor from like a washer dryer. Port a bench. This thing's sweet. Three quarter inch plate made by the big rack shack. They built this thing to order, works great. Three foot by six foot, I think, so I can kind of get through the door, just. Let's see, in here, this is where composites and paint and all the crap that I don't want to get into the other shop's area. It's a mess right now, it always is a mess. It's like the messy room. Our big plate ta table. This is another big rack shack item. Five foot by 10 foot, one inch thick plate. It is a hot rolled plate, I believe, so it's not the most perfectly flat surface in the world, but it definitely gets the job done. And it's pretty fun to be able to beat on things on this, pull or pry. It, it weighs a couple thousand pounds. Uh, getting things in and out of here, you can see over here we've got this cut out in the wall. So that section of wall I can just kind of slide out and then I can drive the forklift in here. A couple of vices, MIG, TIG, and borrowed plasma. One of my newer toys, finger brake. This thing's been pretty fun. It's uh, whatever they said it was rated for, you can basically do double that with it without hurting it. It's been awesome. Let's see, Ryan's dad's toolbox. Uh, he's a machinist, so he's got all kinds of bits for these uh, these old mills. Psyche Mill Buffalo. This thing is a monster. It looks just like a um, standard bridge port, but it's like 20% larger. So it's been working out well after a bit of repair. And then over here, we've got the old Logan. Um, been slowly working up to this and fixing it up and finding tools that I like to use on it. It's not the most powerful. Um, I just figured out this 5C collet thing, which was in one of these bins down here, and I had no idea what it was. The motor is interesting. It's in this cabinet down here, which is unusual instead of having it mounted on the back. So that's a goofy old machine. A little press we got. This was great, this is an awesome find. Anyone that has a press knows that it's useless without press tooling. And this came with just an endless supply of different things to stick on your press. It's been super helpful, there's nothing we can't press on this thing. Of course, uh, we got the JD squared tube bender. Uh, we used this most recently on the repairs to the GTR and um, beefing up the, the hitch assembly. And drill press, random storage. That's pretty much it. Amanda, she's still here. Steve's busted ass splitter and puppies most important part got to keep everything protected right guys I'm back out into the shop all right let's go check out the mezzanine all right here we are up on the mezzanine where we have basically just thrown all of our extra crap at some point we'll make this a proper storage area but for now it's just storage. Best part about the mezzanine is the view. This 
Some say we even get work done in here sometimes. That's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. We'll try to uh, have some more track action in the next video. Uh, hopefully get some of these cars fixed up and have some more fun. We'll see you then.